Dassault CH Bamboo Decking boasts a unique production process that emphasizes durability and sustainability. Mature bamboo poles, around 4 to 6 years old, are chosen. They are cut into sections and split into strips. The outer and inner layers of the bamboo are removed, revealing the inner fibers for use. The bamboo strands undergo a heat treatment process with steam, typically at 130 to 140 degrees Celsius. This removes sugars and starches, making the bamboo less susceptible to mold and insects, and enhancing its overall durability. The carbonized strands are air-dried to achieve a controlled moisture content, around 6%. Sorting by color and shape ensures consistency in the final product's appearance. Dassault CH uses a proprietary ceramic technology treatment to further enhance the performance of the bamboo fibers for outdoor applications. The treated bamboo fibers are then saturated with an environmentally friendly phenolic resin, similar to the one used in bowling balls. This resin helps improve the overall strength and stability of the final product. The resin-coated bamboo fibers are dried thoroughly using a chain drying machine or kiln. They are then laid in a controlled temperature and humidity environment to achieve a uniform moisture level. Finally, the strips are pressed under high pressure, around 3,200 tons, in a large press. This fuses the bamboo fibers and resin together, forming a high-density and robust bamboo panel ideal for outdoor decking. Once pressed, the bamboo panels undergo processes like cutting, sanding, and molding to create the desired profile for the decking boards. They may also be grooved or given a shiplap design to enhance aesthetics and functionality. This is the producing process of Western Red Cedar hand split and resawn shakes by Woodroof. These shakes are produced in Maple Ridge, BC, Canada. These shakes have at least one split face for a naturally rustic, random width appearance. They are made from top quality materials and are known for their long lasting value. Cedar logs are first cut into desired block lengths and then made into blanks. These blanks or boards of proper thickness are then split and run diagonally through a bandsaw to produce two tapered shakes from each blank. This gives the roof a more rustic appearance than a taper saw or a shingle. Cedar shakes offer several benefits, making them a popular choice for roofing and siding. Cedar is one of the most durable softwoods, making it great for outdoor use. It can withstand extreme weather conditions, such as heavy rain, strong winds, and even hail, without cracking or breaking. Cedar shakes are naturally water and rot resistant, which means they last for a long time. They contain natural oils and resins that repel insects, such as termites, and prevent rotting and decay. Cedar is also an excellent insulator. Its low density reduces heat flow, creating a natural sound barrier and helping to keep your home cool in the summer and warm in the winter. Cedar is a renewable resource and 100% natural, meaning it does not contain any synthetic materials or chemicals. The Kretzer SSM800 is a high-performance saw and splitting machine. It has automatic features such as hydraulic log feeder, automatic chain lubrication and operator-friendly control panel. The SSM800-35 can saw and then split logs of up to 80 cm in diameter and up to 8 m in length. This makes it a highly efficient and cost-effective solution for processing large volumes of wood. 
It uses a harvester head with a chainsaw for cutting logs and hydraulically adjustable splitting knife made from hardox steel for durability. The SSM-800 has some benefits. It could help increasing firewood processing speed by automating many tasks involved in firewood production. It also saving time and effort compared to manual cutting and splitting and suitable for professional use or those who process a significant amount of firewood. The Sarah Montana MD90 is a portable sawmill designed for efficient and effective wood processing. The Montana MD90 is equipped with either an electric motor or a diesel engine rated at 33 kilowatts. The diesel engine remains stationary while driving the saw head via two hydraulic hoses. This provides even powered motion with no engine vibration transmitted to the blade. The wide blade technology contributes to the machine's great performance. Logs are loaded onto the sawmill bed and secured using clamps. The headstock, sawhead carriage, moves along steel rails to make cuts. A hydraulic system powers the headstock movement, blade up slash down movement, and log clamps. The wide bandsaw blade performs the actual cutting. The operator controls the headstock positioning and cutting functions from a central cockpit. A computerized positioning system ensures accurate cuts with a tolerance of slash 0.2 millimeters, 0.008 inches.